Ladies and gentlemen, Azimio la Umoja One Kenya Alliance is on high alert after Governor Simba Arati of Kisi County delivered a coded message to Raila Amolo Odinga yesterday. For those who follow the politics of this country very closely, Azimio la Umoja One Kenya was supposed to hold a major political rally in Kisi County on Monday. That rally did not take place. It was postponed to a later date. As a matter of fact, the rally will now take place on Friday. And many people on this channel were asking me why the rally was postponed. In this video, I want us to look at the coded message which Simba Arati delivered to Raila Amolo Odinga yesterday. Because Simba Arati was one of the biggest supporters of Raila Amolo Odinga. Raila Mulodinga actually influenced Simba Arati to leave Nairobi politics and come back to Kisi. And against all odds, Simba Arati won his seat on ODM ticket. And it was expected that Simba Arati was going to be one of the allies of Raila Mulodinga Raila was going to rely on, especially as far as Nyanza politics is concerned. In fact, at some point, it was alleged, and most people believed so, that Simba Arati was going to succeed Raila Amolo Dinga as far as Nyanza politics is concerned. But from what I'm observing, Simba Arati, in my view, might not even contest as an ODM candidate in 2023. I could be wrong because politics is still a long time. But why do you think the Azimio brigades cancelled or postponed their Kisi rally on Monday? Because I want us to look at the coded message, just hold on a bit, to look at the coded message which Simba Arati delivered to Raila Odinga yesterday. That case really was postponed because of four main reasons. Number one, preparation. There was lack of proper preparation for that rally. The truth of the matter is that sometimes Raila Odinga or Azimio, they just make some pronouncement that we're going to have a rally in Kisi without really consulting the people, figuring out how it was going to be successful, all those things. But that rally was initially motivated by the attacks on um, Matia, Matiangi. So they thought that because Kisi were charged, that was the right time. But the fact of the matter is that Raila Odinga held a rally in uh, Nairobi. Then he went uh, in, uh, to Machakos. From Machakos, they came for that burial of uh, Magoha. Then from there, Monday was supposed to be kissing. So if you look at it critically, there were no proper preparations. Number two is the Simba Arati factor. Simba Arati factor is also one of the reasons why that rally was postponed. Because Simba Arati was not committing whether he was going to, jo to join or not. And in fact, someone was telling me that even recommended that the rally should not be held in Kisi for some time now. And the third reason why the rally was postponed is that there was some internal sabotage. There are people both internally and externally who sabotaged the rally. Remember how Ungwai issued that statement. That was external sabotage. And also there were internal, there were people within Azimio who really are frustrating the moves. And lastly, the Kisumu rally. Because this guy had planned to have a Kisumu rally on a Friday. Then you have a rally in Kisumu on Monday. Then you go and have another rally in Kisumu on Friday. It really doesn't make sense. You'd rather have them one following the other. So if you have Kisima rally on Monday, let's have Kisi Kisumu on uh, on Tuesday. Or if you have Kisumu on Sunday, let's have Kisi on, on Monday. So it was because of those reasons, it was postponed. So it has now been planned for Friday. And that's why I read coded message from uh, Simba Arati. Now, let me take you to what Simba Arati posted yesterday. And that is the coded message which he, he was delivering to Raila Molodinga. If you go to Simba Arati's Facebook page, this is what he posted. Let me just read it for you. That greatly honored to grace the inaugural prayers breakfast for the Kisi County Assembly where we sought divine interventions in our day-to-day -day endeavors in public service. Now listen to the coded message. This session is in line with the prayer made by our president, His Excellency William Ruto. You know, we had already completed it. I mean, it was just good to say, okay, greatly honored to grace the inaugural prayer breakfast 
for the Kisi County Assembly, where we sought the divine intervention in our day-to-day -day endeavors in public service. Then now this thing is adding. Why do you think he was adding it? Because in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything is normally well-planned, well-scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objective. Now listen to what he's adding here. The session is in line with the prayer made by our president, His Excellency, President William Ruto. <laughs> now, that's a coded message to Raila Molodika. I want us to look at that coded message, what it means and the implication. For me, the mere fact that uh, Simbarati invoked the name of the president, they are in that two lines, he mentioned the president twice. For me, I think he was sending a coded message to Raila Odinga. Number one is that he's now recognizing William Ruto as the president of the Republic of Kenya. And that's significant. One of the objectives of Raila Odinga's rallies is that Raila and his brigades are not recognizing William Ruto's presidency. Yesterday, but one, Raila Odinga was on Ramogi TV, uh, TV or radio and he was interviewed there. And there's something which he made very clear, that the governors are free to work with Rotom because governors are executive. MPs and MCS are not supposed to work with Rotom because MPs and MCS are part of the executive. And Raila Odinga's rallies outside there are basically meant to reinforce his line of thought that Ruto was not validly elected. Now, by Simba Rati referring to Ruto as Mr. President, it means he's already telling Raila Odinga that as much as you're coming to Kisi, know so well, know very well in your mind that for me, Simba Arati, for me, I'm recognizing William Ruto as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. So which means he's telling Raila Odinga that I'll not come to your rally because in your rallies you are saying Raila, uh, Ruto is not the president. And remember, Raila Odinga really suffered in Kisi because for him to have a Rati in the seat, he had to sacrifice James Ongwai and Janet Ongera in the hope that a Rati was going to be a more reliable partner. Now Arati is telling him, no, no way, Ruto is our president. I don't expect to see Arati in the rally. That's one thing I can assure you. I don't expect to see him. Or even if he were to attend, I'll be keen to watch his, his statement. But that, that's number one. Number two, Arati is also telling Raila Mulodinga, in my view, through this statement, that he will be working very closely with the government. So again, Raila Mulodinga has to make a choice. Otherwise, there is no way Arati can talk of the prayer he had in Kisi to be in line with the President Ruto's uh, prayer. <laughs> you know, it's basically telling him that CC will be working in line with Ruto. Everything we'll be doing will be in line with Ruto. I don't know where that will put, put Raila Mulodinga. And I know there are people who are now very happy with the turn of events. Janet Ongera, I know, is smiling all the way to the bank. Uh, Ongwai, because Ongwai really didn't want <laughs> Arati to become the governor. But Arati Ninani, he became the governor. Number three, <laughs> the other thing which this message is sending to Raila is that uh, Arati is telling him that the rallies are not a priority to him. Politics is about timing. Timing. He'll be doing things in line with the Ruto. Things in line with the Ruto. So if Arati will not attend this rally tomorrow, then know that the rally is not a project to him. It's not his time. I was talking to someone who understands the politics around all this because it was like, I asked him why governors are allowed, MPs are not. He was telling me that most of these governors, for them to get elected, they really spent a fortune. And because they spent a fortune to get elected, 
it is now time for them to recoup that money. And how can they recoup the money? They can recoup the money by focusing on service delivery, maybe one first year, second year, then maybe some of them will now start thinking about the election after the third year. No, even six months, they've not even received their first batch of the budget. And then you want to engage them in politics. He was telling me they won't. Most of these governors will not. And that's why when they met with Raila Odinga, they were very clear with him that they were not going to stop working with the Roto because they needed development. So the, the idea really is that most of them once projects, then they can start those projects, then they can recoup their money, then when the time comes, then they can start campaigning. For most governors, this is not the time. And lastly, the rallies, these rallies, if you ask me, are not serving Simba Arati's political interest as we speak. That is the message he's telling Raila. Why? If you look at Kisi, Kisi County today, Janet Ongera and uh, James Ongwai ganged up against Arati and they did everything to the campaign. Immediately after election, they too led their supporters to support Ruto, which means Arati was left on this side alone. Now, luckily for Arati, William Ruto picked his opponent, Muchogu, to a cabinet position. So which means, as things stand today, Arati is there, then Muchogu is in government, Ongwai and Janet Ongera are also working with Ruto. So which means, if Ruto wanted to deal with Arati, it would be easy to use Ongwai and to use Janet Ongera alongside Muchogu. But now, Arati being smart is telling them, that I'm also not opposed to Ruto, I'm supporting Ruto. So which means, as things stand today, Ruto cannot engineer any fight against Arati. Because Arati is uh, now working with him. So for me, if you look at Arati and the position he is today, he's trying to survive. He doesn't want to be fought. So he's actually playing games with Ongwai and Ongera. So that Ongwai and Ongera cannot come to Odia and work with Raila. And if they can't come, then he's also not coming. And if they were to come and work, to work with Raila Odinga, then he will wait for them. After some time, then he will also make that strategic comeback. I don't know what you think. That is my take. But for me, someone like Simba Arati is someone really, I love his politics. And you know, in Nairobi, Raila had Arati. He had uh, Babu, you know. Aladwe is also going to Vihiga already. So those were some of the most reliable. And then, of course, uh, there was Tim Wanyonyi. I don't know why Raila really never stood with Tim Wanyonyi. There is Tim Wanyonyi. So the departure of Arati in Nairobi for Raila, for me, is a huge, huge blow. Let me hear your thoughts. Thank you, guys, and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.